Hello, everybody. Today for Sunday Fun Day, we're gonna see how I draw the Grand Orator. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you wanna watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are gonna stick around, I'm gonna start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Okay, a little, a little big. Let me try to shrink it down a little bit more. And then it will fit. There we go, perfect. I, I started out with the bigger head and I realized that no, 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 it's gotta be small to fit the proportions of the body to fit the idea that I'm going for here. So the grand orator, let's explain. Uh, an orator is one, a person, I guess, one that speaks uh, like, like eloquently, right? As, as, as a good speaker, a good public speaker, basically. Uh, someone who is well-versed <laughs> in, in speaking eloquently. Does that make sense? So, that's the idea. So I'm just gonna make a guy who's good at talking. He's, he's good at making the talky talks. That's, that's really it, that's what it comes down to. Joe. So just another excuse to draw something crazy and we'll see we'll see where it takes us. Ooh, that's a little long, that's a little long. I got a little too crazy there. Um, I'm thinking of, of the way I'm gonna have his hand kind of on his chest and I, I, got, I got too long there. Because I'm gonna have him kind of, you know, with his hand on his chest very proud, very, very regal, but uh, it got it got too, too tall there, too thin, too long. And that's not the biggest part of this drawing anyway. That's not the big, you know, uh, what do you call it? It's not the meat and the potatoes, right? The the focal point there you go that's what he's not that's not the focal point but but I wanted to get that right because it is kind of a, an essential part of the drawing in what I'm having him doing and so so here's my idea and this is this is why I came up with what I did is I want I want him to be you know um, regal proud and boastful and so with those words, I have to make a guy who, let's see, I'm gonna have him like this, a guy who is, is, is very proud of being the like town crier type kind of thing. He, uh, he takes his job very seriously and it, it sounds like when I said that, that I, I wasn't sure. Seriously? <laughs> um, but no, I, I mean, he, he takes his job very seriously. And, and it's a silly looking job and outfit because I'm gonna have him in like poofy pants with speakers. That's, that's how silly his outfit is. Ooh, and let's do, <laughs> let's see if I can draw, like he's got platform shoes that like, like anchor him to the ground. Like he, he is afraid he's gonna come up. So these shoes kind of weigh him down. Like like this will this will set him from, from taking off. You know, like he can't get blown away from the, the power that he's got in his, in his legs. Okay, and I want I want some kind of like um, like a regal like a cape, you know. So he's and then it's a it's a twofold cape. So this one's coming down here. I'm gonna hang it over like this, and then this one 
we're gonna say comes down and just hangs straight down like that but this one's a little small shorty short short cape and let's see you can kind of see some over here I guess all right that looks good and so now I have to let me get his hand right real quick because I'm gonna have him so here's the idea he he speaks into a speaker or a microphone and then it all comes through there's a power pack right there on his belt it all comes through the speakers on his legs right silly I know but that's that's his job Ooh, should we make like a microphone yeah let's do that so that it's got a little stand that's not falling off right close but not falling off okay a little stand a little microphone stand there's a, a protected covered handle into his uh, microphone type thing and then we'll here we'll do some kind of strange little uh, accenter Ooh, let's do this <laughs> we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna add some kind of crazy arrow explanation type thing like like you speak into here and that's his that's his glor glorified uh um what's the word i'm looking for like not thrown not uh um scepter right maybe is that the word i'm looking for that he 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 wears this we're just gonna give him a little slanty eye thing like he's he's got a specific oh oh let's give him headphones like he 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 uh knows how loud it's going to be and so he himself will make sure that he doesn't get uh, blown away doesn't knock out his precious eardrums Precious eardrums uh, in in his ore rating. All right, I like that. I like that. I mean, the nice thing is, this is our design. We're the ones who are, who's making it, so we can actually do whatever we want here. And so, I started to, I need to make it bigger. I started to say that this is a helmet that he's wearing, kind of a little overhead piece, so I need to make it bigger than his actual head. So, I gotta make it just slightly bigger, so it looks like he's wearing this, right? There we go. Okay, neck goes in here. Food goes in here. Uh, let's see, I think that's good. I think that's about enough that we need for the sketch. And then I can I can build on that because I don't need to put every single detail in, right? I mean, it, Sharpie's gonna take care of a lot of this, but it, it's just for fun. So I think I'm good. Let me erase some of these sketch lines because I'm gonna I'm gonna switch over to my sharpie and I want my sharpie to stand out, not my pencil lines. So the initial lines I was putting down, those are my sketch lines. Those erase pretty fast. As I got more confident with the placement, I started pressing harder, and those became my confidence lines. So what you're gonna do is erase your comp <laughs> erase your sketchiness and keep your confidence. That's how you live your life too. That way it all works out for you. Or even if it doesn't work out for you. You, you know what to do next time, you know? Just keep trying. Get back up, keep trying, that's it. So I think I'm ready. I can see enough to get going. So I say we, we welcome all the skippers and get going. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm gonna be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen, mostly the fine point, but a pencil fired than the fine point. You can find things that a fine point can't quite find. 
I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of my sketch lines, but I left myself enough to see where we're going to go. And if you want to see more Sunday Fun Day, check out that playlist there. Or you know what? Just check out the playlist in general because I do so many that I may have already done what you're looking for. So I'm going to jump right in with the pen. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell. Hit that little bell right now. Watch. Hit it. And I'll make a sign effect for you. Ready? One, two, bong. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Okay. So I'm going to jump right in here. I'm just going to give them a little, little slanty uh, uh, eye visor. Something like that. Ooh, let's do like a little eye like that if you can fit it in. Boom, like that. I like that. I like that. And so I'm going to go ahead and draw the nose so you see where we are. I'm going to draw some of it like this, bring in that nostril because I've got him kind of turned just a little bit. Then I'm going to draw his mouth. I'm going to draw just a little bit of a lip down here and come up like that. And that's all I'm going to do because anything else and it's going to start to bleed because it's so tiny. There's only so many details I can throw in. So I'm going to do his chin right here like this. Draw his jaw up here. So you, again, so you see where we are. So you get an idea where the side of his face is. And then I'm going to come back up here and do this side. And if you notice, I'm starting to thicken up some of my lines too. When I switch over to this Sharpie, you're gonna see a huge difference in line width. So I'm kind of preparing for how it's gonna look and uh, I'm getting ready for that. So this is a helmet. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over because that's all the fine details I'm putting into the face. The rest is gonna be um, adornments, things he's wearing, right? So he's got on headphones. But see how thick this is? That's what I'm talking about. And I know that looks kind of strange, but I had an idea that even though it's like a cup, like a like a like a, a um, ear muff type kind of thing, I'm gonna adorn it with that's my word of the day apparently, some studs, little bumps like this, and that's why I wanted to leave those bumps raised like that, just to kind of accent it, you know, just to show that edge. Basically, I'm just trying to make it more than just half a circle you know it's trying to mix it up a little bit for this side you're gonna do the same thing just kind of make some bumps for the edge then I'm gonna draw but also see how thick that is that's what I'm talking about how how much thicker it really is and that's what I was trying to prepare for it there something like that okay so let's see the top of his head is gonna go up here like this and you just gotta make it just slightly bigger than his head because he's actually wearing this on top of his head. So I just wanted to make sure that I actually drew it so it looks like he's wearing something, not that that's actually his head. Or maybe that's what it looks like. And you know what? That's what it looks like. Nothing we can do about it. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just gonna kind of, let's play around with a few lines just to accent the, uh, the inking. Like that, and then we'll do something like this. This almost like breaks it up so we know we're looking at a helmet, not his head. Or maybe that's his head. That's just how it fits, right? Okay. All right, so switching back over here, I'm gonna draw his neck. Okay, and he's got a, a cape, and then his hand is in front of all of this. So I gotta make sure that I I'm going to draw the cape like this, just so we have some edges, right? Um, but again, his, his arm is in front of that, so I have to draw all that first. So his arm is going to be, see, here's his wrist to his elbow, like that. That's the other end, just so you can see where we are. And then, so now you see how I have to draw this first because it's on top of everything. His hand is just pretty much doing this on his, on his body. So, close that off because it's a sleeve. And draw the thumb like this into the hand. And I've already sketched this out, so I'm just pretty much just going to trace around the fingers. I was uh, uh, kind of attacked 
but maybe not. I don't know. I uh, had somebody comment about uh, an uh, image on the place, and I won't say where because I don't want anybody else to retaliate or anything like that. And uh, he said it looks bad. And I was like, yeah, you know what? You're right. Uh, show me how to do it right on our Discord, you know? I'm just trying to kill him with kindness, you know, be nice and say, you, you, absolutely, show me. If I'm wrong, show me, you know? And and he wrote back, uh, no, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a lover, not a tracer. And I don't know what he really meant by that. So I was like, okay, awesome, you have a good day. So I don't know whether he meant, like, he's just trying to be silly or or what, but I mean, if you sketch it out, you, you, you're, yeah, I'm tracing over my own drawing, you know, so I don't know what he meant. It's just people attacking. Sometimes people just have to be like that. They wanna, they wanna knock it down. They wanna, you know, and it's sometimes it's out of jealousy. It's like, uh, I can't do it. So I want to tell you how stupid that is, you know, <sighs> that's not a nice thing to do. Don't do that. But because it happens, oh, well, it doesn't bother me. You gotta kind of let stuff go whenever, especially if you're gonna be a public figure, you know? People are gonna comment, people are gonna be snarky. Oh well, no big deal. All right, so there's his hand. And so now I'm gonna draw, because he's got his hand on his chest, I'm gonna draw the other side of the cape, just kind of over his shoulder like this. And let's see, let's draw like some, some wrinkles in it. You know how I like my wrinkles and folds, just to kind of show the the way it's all pushed up. And his chest, I'm gonna draw his chest, and there's not a lot to his upper body. He's not uh, a big, crazy, um, I don't wanna say muscular, but he is, he is muscular, but he's not big, crazy, ornate uh, stuff all over him on top, right? But there's his chest. Like that. And he's just kind of leaning back all proud. So that's what I'm saying. I didn't really do too much on his um, upper path. Like, like, you know, getting too crazy with the design. So we'll just do something like, like this for his, uh, his costume design, basically. And then we'll do we'll say, take a take a take a page out of a white vision and do some outlining like this, just to again do something. And we'll say that's on the other side, um, just to give it piping, just to give it texture, just to break up that negative space. Is all so that's not the big the big feature of this costume. Uh, he does have a belt. I'm gonna go ahead and draw that now, just so we can get some placement and get some edges here. Then I'll come back up for his. Uh, um, arms. <laughs> I forgot words. We're going to say this is like a battery pack. All right. Because the whole idea, I've already described it, the whole idea is going to need power, right? All right. So let me draw some extra little lines. So we'll say like those are some kind of battery attachments. Okay. And do I want to connect the line? I almost do. I almost want to make like a like a little connector over here where it connects in. Maybe we'll do one over here too, just to break up the uh, negative space. Now, see those places where I didn't touch? I can touch now. But earlier I stopped because I didn't want to draw through that. And now that it's done, I can go ahead and finish it up. And there you go. Ooh, let's do this. Let's let's draw like almost like a, a pattern. Like there's the center where the where the material is is sewn together, kind of thing, right? So almost like a Marvel outfit, you know, kind of like a a uh, something. Is, is sewn together in the pattern for his shirt. Okay, cool. Uh, what about this? Should we do something here? Let's do just again, just to break it up so it's not just negative space. All right, so I think I think I can draw his arm now and then I'll do the cape or maybe I'll do the cape last 
if I remember. Man, I'm so bad at forgetting. No, I'm sorry. I'm so good at forgetting. I'm bad at remembering. Here's his bicep. There's his shoulder coming down to his uh, the crook of his arm. That makes his elbow right around here. I'm gonna draw back up here to his wrist down to the elbow. And let me draw some detail in before I start with the hand. And by detail, I just mean basically just some uh, wrinkles and folds. That's it. All right. Okay, so this hand is holding a, a scepter, and I kind of have, he's kind of doing like this, like like the pinky's up a little bit, okay? So, in doing that, I'm gonna draw his hand into the thumb, like this, and then the fingers are wrapped all around it. So this one, is kind of up like this. And I'm gonna draw like some knuckle lines for it. So for right now, I'm just drawing like some some uh, hot dogs. I know they're not hot dogs, but I'm just saying that's why I'm just drawing them just kind of as little ovals, right? Loops. So what I like to do is I like to come back in and just say, well, there's a knuckle there. There's a knuckle there, there's a knuckle there. And then that one's up a little higher. So see what I'm saying? How the pinky's up a little bit more like that. So he's almost like, like a little, a little snooty, you know, a little, little, you know, sure of himself. So for the microphone, let's draw this. Let me, let me draw the handle coming down and then I'll draw my way back up. But I wanted to do it like this so I can draw the edge and just kind of do something like this. Now, that's pretty straight. It may not always work out like that and this one did. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it, but you can use a ruler if you want. Me, I'm just gonna make it by hand because I kinda like it better as if he's, you know, it's not it's not perfect, but I'm gonna try. But uh, he's just got this staff. That, and look, it even got wider right there. Oh well, no big deal. Let's go and bring this down and kinda play around with some, some width just to mess with it. Oop, and that curved in. I'm doing this just to kind of break up the the monotony of, of you know thick thin that kind of thing and kind of also hiding the fact that I'm not getting it right you know okay now before I go further I want to add some some line work just to correct a few things and just to break up some space Little things like this kind of help, again, uh, fix it, hide things, and accent things. Cool, I like that, simple. I don't know why it gets there or there, who knows? There's a lot of reasons that, or there's a lot of things on this that we're not explaining, so I'm not worried about it. Now, I sketched it out and it happens to be shifted like this, so I kind of have to eyeball it back to the center here. So, I'm gonna jump up here and we're gonna say, this will be my connector, okay? I'm changing it up a little bit. So like I said, the whole sketch is shifted over. That just means I gotta shift it over this way to fit where the pole is going. And that's okay, so that's what I'm saying. Don't, don't freak out about little stuff like that. Don't let your past dictate your future is what I'm trying to say. Um, and you know what, also, yeah, let me draw the hand details before I forget. And that whole don't let your past dictate your future thing, <laughs> Live your life like that, you know? Just because you did something in the past, like that line didn't connect or whatever, that doesn't mean you have to follow it. Change it, change it, do something different, you know? Don't panic and freak out. You are in control of the future. You really are. Okay, so, I got a crazy microphone thing going on here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of make something up, you know, just kind of something like this. Okay, and we're gonna say that's his microphone. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just add some kind of accent like this. And I don't know why, I don't know what I'm drawing. I'm just kind of making up that this is, this is what it takes in his world to speak through a gigantic microphone to the world, right? 
So that being said, I've got this crazy, <laughs> this whole crazy design too, that it's gonna be a circle and it's gonna have accoutrement. It's gonna have extras on it, some, some different stuff. So I'm gonna draw the circle around and then add the stuff on the outside. So I'm gonna try to make it perfect, but I'm okay if it isn't. And to break that up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop it here, do something and then connect it at the top. So I'm gonna come around like this, looks good. Come around like this, looks good. I can already see it's not a perfect circle. And again, I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna break it up by doing something like that, some kind of connector, and then circle it back up here, okay? We're gonna say that is kind of like that, the connector. And that also helps me to reposition the circle. So see how it's not a perfect circle? That's okay. The outside is where I'm gonna get really crazy and say, Here's the outer line, and then it's connected to like some kind of... Let's do the same thing over here so we don't forget. I'm gonna come over here, and come down, and go out, like that. I'm gonna bring it back in, out, in, and out. And so it's almost like a, like a lightning bolt. Back up. Back up to the circle. We'll go ahead and just connect that. I don't know why I didn't connect that in the first place, just to make it uh, one piece. But see how it's like some kind of strange, ornate uh, microphone thing he's got? That's the whole idea, that's what I was going for. Let me add a point. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> on this end, I want arrows. I don't know why but I want him to be like, like it's his way of saying, pay attention to me. There we go, I like that, I like that. So I'm gonna come in a little bit. This is a very, we're spending a lot of time on this microphone, but you know what, that's what Sunday Fun Day is all about, just getting crazy with it and saying, well, that's what he wants, that's what he gets. All right, so that's his, that's his microphone power. And let's connect it by something like this. Right, that's what holds it in place too. Some kind of wires that do that. And I wanted, I wanted like a, a uh, like a, a uh, what do you call it, like light bulbs, like a, uh, oh, I can't think of the word right now. But, you know, the little flickering lights that say open, stuff like that, you know, that's what I wanted. That's, that's the idea I had behind that. So, did you do it? Awesome, let's get going. So I've got him with crazy speakers on his legs and um, let's see, I'm gonna connect it by a belt like this. Same thing here. And then I'm just gonna draw circular speakers and it, it's okay if they're not perfect, you know? I'm just gonna kind of draw circles. Something like that. And these are gonna be turned a little bit so they're gonna be more ovals than circles. And we're gonna say that's, that's what, uh, I'm gonna do all of them. That's what his pants are, or the, the speaker part of his costume. Okay. Let me add some, that's a little, a little too oval, but that's okay. I probably, you know what, I'm gonna do that with the big Sharpie, that's too thin, I wanted it thicker. And then I'm gonna accent it with a smaller one. But that was too thin for me. Okay. I'm just gonna make like micro, like microphone, like microphone, like uh, stereo speakers, something like that. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. None of these circles are gonna be perfect. And I'm okay with that. I mean, for the most part, these are gonna be colored in black anyway, right? Here we go. And if, if it doesn't look like speakers, it's okay. We just drew a, a 
costume design pattern, you know, just something like that. There you go, awesome. So don't beat yourself up if it's not perfect. Let me draw like a little outside edge if you can. It looks nice for me with this thick and thin just to accent the edges. Like I said, don't beat yourself up if it doesn't look right. If nothing else, just like that, all we did was add an ornate pattern to his costume. All right, cool. And now it's pretty much just cloth. That's all I'm really doing. So I've got some baggy pants going on right here. These are kind of hanging down into his uh, knees. That's kind of what I thought of these, almost like knee pads. Something like that. You can see this side over here. Um, let me add just a little bit of creases and folds to his pants. We're gonna say that continues down like that into his fly. Cause he's a fly guy. <laughs> There's your uh, official old man joke of the day. good to me let me outline the thicker the out outer edge just a little bit again just to kind of match just like I was talking about in the sharper in the sharper in the face portion like I just kind of like to match the uh, outline make it kind of stand out a little bit okay so we're almost done now we're just drawing his his uh, legs just kind of kind of come into like socks or something I don't know we're gonna say they're just not the most important part of his costume. He doesn't really put a lot of thought into him, but his shoes, he thinks are very important too. He feels he needs to be locked down. He needs to be anchored down because he's just gonna blow you away with his speakers that he's gonna fly away. So he's got kind of like this locked shoe that kind of anchors him into the ground, right? So let me draw the side view now. So. So see, it kind of locks him down. Now, I'm not done. We have a cape to draw. Before I finish anything, we gotta draw that cape. I just want to draw a few little details on his locked shoe that uh, are very specific to his, his design or his uh, uh, thoughts for his design. Like he thinks, oh, it's gotta be like this. And I'm gonna fly away if I don't lock it down. Something like that, and let's just say, like I said, his, his socks aren't important to him. All right, so all we got left is the cape. So I've got it hanging over like this, so I'm gonna do this side. We're gonna say it's kind of hanging back of this. This part is a short cape, and he's got a long cape underneath. So I've gotta draw the long cape first. And it's a shorty short cape or a thin cape. That's a shorty short cape. And that's all you can see of that. But this one is short and it's going back here like this. Same thing here. This kind of comes back, hangs down. So it hangs about like that. Comes back up and goes back there. You can see that edge like this. And there, I say we take care of the rest with color. So for Sunday fun day, that is the Grand Orator. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures with how I draw. Plus don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.